Hi, Virgil Carrington here with American Mushroom and Spice, uh, formerly Microfarms America. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I had some information that I wanted to pass along, uh, mainly to hobbyists, serious hobbyists, and certainly commercial growers, um, about something that's going to impact you significantly. And a lot of people aren't quite aware of this, or they don't really understand the total impact on this, this issue. And it has to do with proper selection of mycelium that's adapted to your environment. And we're looking at two bags here. Um, obviously, there's a significant difference between these two bags. I apologize for the lighting. It's a little dark in our shroom cave here. But um, obviously, we have a bag here that's looking pretty good, well colonized. And we have a bag here that's not doing well at all. And there's some codes on the front, if you see here. This one is 13J. We packed this bag on 13 June. And it's very patchy. There's a little bit of good mycelium here and up in this area. You can tell it's colonized here, but not colonized here. And then this bag packed on 18 June. So 13 June, older bag, 18 June, little younger bag. Um, good mycelium here. Now these are both the exact same strain of mycelium from two different places on planet Earth. They're both Pleurotus ostritus, and obviously they're both not the same strain. And all I can say is um, genetically, it's kind of like humans. We're all humans, and some humans actually flourish up in the environment in Alaska and some down in Florida. So you need to pay attention to your production and pay attention to your colonization times and weed out what doesn't work for you. Again, um, the temperature in the room here is about 75 degrees. And so this one here is very good aggressive strain between about 60 and 85. This one flourishes from 45 to 65. And you can see huge difference. So you've got to change up your strains over the course of the year to have consistent production volume.